This is one of the worst places we've ever driven. I'm sorry, dude. In this video, we're taking you on a motorbike road trip across Sumatra, Indonesia. So steep. Gotta yeah, be careful on these roads, man. It has been an absolutely mental day, bro. <laughs> we'll be stopping at the equator, visiting a beautiful waterfall, and of course, dealing with some crazy Indonesian drivers on the road. You see this guy stop it with the... Like, why are you... We'll be making the 500 kilometer drive from Payakumbu in West Sumatra, all the way to Lake Toba. And we also want to give a special thanks to Enervon Active for sponsoring this video. So join us on this chapter of our journey as we drive our motorbikes from Jakarta to Sabang, across the sixth largest island in the world, Sumatra, Indonesia. Good morning, guys. Salamat pagi from here in Payakumbu, West Sumatra. We are getting on the road for a long one, folks. We are making the drive all the way to Lake Toba. What we're doing right now, we're in Payakumbu, and we're actually heading back to Bukit Tinggi, and then shooting up the west coast of Sumatra all the way to Lake Toba. We're not sure how much we're gonna do today. What we like to do is take a look at the map and mark places to stay every few hours. So depending how the drive goes, depending how the weather is, depending how we're feeling on the road determines, you know, how far we're gonna drive today, especially when we're doing long drives like this, so. But this road pretty much sums up West Sumatra for me. You have beautiful, beautiful nature, insane drivers. That's West Sumatra in a nutshell. We are back on the busy streets of Bukit Tinggi, guys. We weren't here too long ago. One last stop on this West Sumatra cuisine. Let's go. Rumah Makan Benteng, right in front of Benteng Fort de Kok. Getting our last taste of some West Sumatra cuisine before we make our way up to the Batak land. Land of the Bobby, bro. Land of the Bobby Pangan. No Bobby here. Karena karena haram. Baru masak rendang ayam. Rendang ayam, yeah. That's always a good thing to hear. Baru masak. I am rendang. I'm gonna miss this. This is something I'm gonna miss. <laughs> the dending lambok, the rendang sapi, and the ayam pop. It's the famous one here. They said since 1947. That's a good number. I trust it. This is so good, man. The tomato. Oh. Not too spicy, but so much flavor. Are you sure we have to go to Medan? I want some powder, bro. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. So tomato and tangy. And the sambal's warm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's pretty spicy. I'm gonna run up a huge bill here. This is gonna be spicy. <laughs> <Not eating> the <laughs> day. This is so Maybe one of the best nasi padang places I've ever had. That was amazing. <laughs> Bye. And there goes Margarita, just like that, going to separate ways. Hati hati di jalan! And there were two again, folks, just Shane and I. We're making our way out of Bukit Tinggi. GPS says we got about an hour and a half until we get to the equator. I've never been to the equator. I've never crossed it on land. I don't think Rob has either. First, let's get out of Bukit Tinggi. We're on this steep and curvy mountain road, guys, and it is busy, busy. Now you got these massive trucks coming through. They should not be on this road. Surely there's something better, right? If not, then that's silly. They're making a turn and they're taking up both lanes when they can turn because they're swinging out wide. Coming through this light patch of rain here, guys, but now the road is quite slippery. You can see the rain made its way through here. Not, not too long ago, maybe pretty hard. It's a beautiful area, but it's a very green area. And with that, this jungly rainforest comes. A lot of rain. Looks like it's dried up a bit over here. This is a pretty cool valley, guys. You can see up there some of the mountains in the distance. And this nice, fun road that's cutting through here. Man, this is how our trip all the way to Toba is going to be. Curvy roads in the jungle. I looked at the map and uh, it just might be. We've made our way all the way down from the mountains into the flatland. You can see there off to my left, guys. Something, uh, something feels a little bit weird, guys. You guys feel that? We are 150 meters from the equator, folks. There she is. We are coming to the equator of this beautiful earth that we live on. We just crossed the equator. Oh, shit. I missed it. <laughs> that was it. We're going to pull around the parking lot over here. Look at that, that's the line. Look at this, look at this. Now I'm in the north, now I'm in the south. Oh! 
Now we're in the southern hemisphere. Oh, did you feel that? Did you feel that? From this point on, everything is gonna change. Everything's gonna be different. Did you, you felt that, right? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Let's do another lap? Everything feels different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more lap, one more lap. Let's do another lap, bro. Here we go. I'm in the south. Oh, now I'm in the north. You guys felt that, right? You guys felt that. I felt that. Now we're in the northern hemisphere. Here we go. Okay, we're coming around the bend. Right here. Three, two, one. Oh, did you feel that? He felt it. Whoa! Look at that guy. He felt it too. Do another lap. <laughs> <laughs> I can stay here all day. Who's got a funnel? Crossing the equator many times. Many times. Banyak kali. Yeah. Banyak kali. Rasanya selalu beda. I already see you in Bukit Tinggi beside of Jam Gadang. Oh yeah. Really, really. Berdua. You. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Udah kenal ya pak. Nama saya Zen. Zen. Yeah. Yeah. We're hoping to do the experiment where you see on the northern side, the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere, how water spins and spirals down. And I think our friend here, Papa, has the stuff we need to do the experiment. So we're on the north right now. He's going to let it go and it should go counterclockwise, right? Counterclockwise. Let's see, let's see. That's clockwise. Oh, yeah, look at it go. Keren, <laughs> keren. Papa also said that this line is technically not the correct line. We've got to walk about 150 to 200 meters to get to the actual south. You mean to tell me what I felt was fake? You mean to tell me it was in my mind? No way, dude. I felt that. You felt that. You felt that too. I know you did. Southern hemisphere, so it should be opposite. Should be. Oh, yeah, she's going the other way. You Counter. So it went clockwise in the north, counterclockwise in the south. We're following now. We're back to the equator line. This is it over here. So it should be Lang Lang Sung, yeah? Lang Sung. Oh yeah, here, here. Oh, oh. It was that guy. It was that guy. But you can see this is truck. It was a truck. This is perfect. We're on. Oh, a little bit. I believe it is perfect. It's perfect. I'll do this. On our maps, this looks like the line right here. Oh yeah, because now, now you can really feel it. Woo, rasanya beda ya. Ah ya. Sini panas ya. Sini panas. Dingin, dingin. We're now back over by where the monument is on the other side. Just trying to scope out the equator area. She is. The balance has been broken. For everyone that doesn't believe me, I got a certificate. <laughs> Dari mana? Dari itu. Dari Selatan, sekarang di Utara. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he wrote his name. Shane. Shane. Zen. Your visitor number 003. 003. Three is my favorite number. Really? Yeah. Because uh, you number three. Tourist, tourist, yeah. Tourist number three. Yeah. Yang Tempat satu kami. sama dua orang yeah. Belanda. Uh, orang Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh, Those people don't look Malaysian. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was like six foot three. He didn't look Malaysian. He was like two hundred centimeters. <laughs> satu foto. Yeah. Satu, dua, tiga. We are back on the road, leaving the equator, folks. That was exciting. A lot of shenanigans going on. Looking at the GPS, we got about two hours and 20 minutes until the first guest house we have marked out on the map. But right now it's a little after 4.30 and it's gonna get dark in two hours. So maybe we'll post up there. We'll see, let's get on the road and let's get moving. We are officially in the Northern Hemisphere on the road again. Life is gonna be different from this moment on this trip just got crazy guys it is cold dark and wet in here guys it's like we're just sitting inside a cloud all right it's coming guys maybe we need to turn around and pull over at that house up there here we go with a patch of rain again guys but there's no water rooms in sight it's not coming down too hard i don't know maybe we stand under a tree 
What do you think? That spot up there? Is there a water room up there? Yeah. Not like a water room, but like a cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know what's down there. We're turning around, dude. We're not trying to get stuck in crazy rain without a water room cover. Hey, 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 relax. Hey, hey, hey. We've been waiting kind of in this water room here for a little bit. All the rain that passed. Unfortunately, we didn't get it on camera, but this guy offered us a bottle of Tuak and a, not a bottle of Tuak, Tuak in a plastic bag. Tuak, mana. Titas plastic. But uh, this is what we're thinking. We're not going to do the uh, the two hour drive to a, where we had a homestay plan. There's another town near here called Durian Tingi. It's Shane's favorite town in the entire world. And uh, it's only 20 minutes away because uh, it's almost dark and it's still raining a bit. We're going to go there. Hopefully find a place to stay. Let's get back on the road. Reality of long motorbike road trips in Indonesia, folks. You're going to get rained on quite a bit. You're going to get rained on quite a lot, man. And it's a bit cold, dude. Ah. And we are all checked in, folks. Walk you guys in here. Hello, pa. Oh, permisi. <laughs> Great guy, man. He hooked us up, but uh, yeah, the rain just stopped, but it was going for quite a bit. But this place is lovely. Shane's uh, hanging on the couch. Or something to eat right now. Yeah, we're Charri Makan. This place is beautiful. I'll walk you guys in the room here. It's a uh, really nice, cozy. Gotta love nice, cozy room. Jangan lupa. Guling apa? Apa namanya ini? Just guling aja. Guling aja. Let's check out the bathroom. I haven't actually looked in there yet. Oh, it's nice and clean. We love a good, clean place, guys, especially when you're on the road driving through the rain. But um, I think the usual price is over 300, but he's giving it to us for 240 with breakfast, so not bad. But uh, now we're gonna go find some food, enjoy the rest of the night. We are back on the road, guys. Checking out the GPS. We got a little over five hours today. Plan is to head to Padang Sidempuan, which is right over the border in North Sumatra. Looks like we have decent weather today. It's pretty cloudy, but I don't think we're gonna get rained on, at least not for now. It's currently 11, and we're gonna get moving right through this town. Well, it's not the best weather, but the road is starting off fantastic, baby. We got all these fun curves, pretty well paved, not much traffic. Exiting now, this jungly sort of rainforest area, and wow, the trees here are huge, man. You don't see trees that tall that often in Indonesia. We are behind the police right now, folks. I've never seen someone getting pulled over in Indonesia for breaking the law. So you let me know in the comments if people actually get tickets in Indonesia. I don't know if it's because they're foreigners or what the deal is, but everyone asks, have you been stopped by police? Have you been this or that? Or have police ever hassled you? And not once. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get pulled over for speeding or a traffic violation in Indonesia. And like there, I literally, I don't know what the speed limit is, but I'm sure I just sped past the police officer. And we're coming up to the sign, but let us know. We are in Sumatra Utara, baby. Land of the Bataks. Goodbye, West Sumatra. And hello, Sumatra Utara. Look at that, guys. We are on the move, and we are officially in a new province. I smell the Bobby already, baby, and the Tuak. And I swear I can smell some Bobby and some Tuak. I swear I smell it. Horas, horas. We're in Sumatra Lutara, baby. We're in our first kind of, uh, you know, residential area here at Sumatra Lutara. It's busy. We got a gang full of kids. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Bakamana. Bakamana. Motorbike with the sidecar. There's six kids in the sidecar, and then there's a kid on the car. There's a kid. <laughs> got police escort. Whoa, 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 What an asshole. What a dick. Okay. Nadaya. We are pulling off to get some grub and to maybe get a coffee and rest the booty because my butt hurts, bro. It's officially one of those long drives where my face is absolutely covered in dirt. <laughs> oh, Shane doesn't look. <laughs> you look good. You look. Yeah. Are you wearing your mask? No. You're not as bad as me, but you're dirty. Yeah, I'm dirty. You got it like right here. I think it's your glasses. Yeah, that's probably my glasses. This is my, this is my natural aura. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, mereka pikir bisa bahasa Indonesia enggak ya? Uh, <laughs> pasti. Bisa bahasa Inggris tidak? I don't speak English. Enggak <laughs> bisa. Orang sini orang Batak atau Minang? Minang. Siapa? Batak. 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 Yeah. Mayoritas Batak di sini. Yeah, Horas. Horas. Ayam makan. Ayam makar madu. You have ayam makar and you have ayam makar madu. It's like we got two types of sambals there too. There's more food coming. When Shane's here, there's always multiple. Is that udang? Udang woku. Udang woku. Check that out. Right now we're in Payambungan. And uh, we got about 75 kilometers left to our destination, which is going to be Padang Sidempuan. Padang Sidempuan? Something like that. So it's close to that. Back on the road. GPS says a little over two hours, 76 kilometers. When the weather has just held out perfectly for us today, it's a couple little drops coming down. No rain, though. No actual rain. And we were constantly saying during our content in West Sumatra that the Minang people are the craziest drivers that we've seen but everyone kept saying the Batak people in North Sumatra were worse I didn't know whether or not to believe them but I'll tell you what we haven't even been in that crazy in areas yet and I can already feel the craziness and it might be crazier than the Minang people these roads are so thin there's way too much traffic on these roads than what the size of them allows good lord trying to slide by here and everybody's just pulled over right on the side of the road. This, folks, is a Batak traffic jam. I'm just gonna start yelling Horas at people. <laughs> it's so hectic. And then random people get in the get in the street and start directing traffic. Horas! <laughs> I was gonna be an absolute jokester with all in North Sumatra. Got another Bapa to my left directing traffic, Bapa to my right directing traffic. We're all in, folks. Get me out of this town, man. Get me the out of this town. <laughs> oh, God, this guy, people don't freaking look, dude. Nobody looks when they cross, man. <laughs> pull out, pull out, bro. Busted out of the city. We're back in the nature. Now, time to put shoes on and ride. And this is quite an area. I'm in now, man. Beautiful flat lands on each side with some rice fields, some other farms. There's a fairly big mountain up ahead of me. We've had, you know, solid overcast the whole day today, but it hasn't rained on us. Cross your fingers. So many fast, fast rice fields. The mountains just behind them. Fast through so many areas like this already today. They never get any less beautiful, guys. And it looks like we have officially entered Padang, Sidang Buan here and uh it's about 10 minutes until we get to our accommodation this is a pretty big city guys it's way bigger than i thought look at that an alpha midi oh, hoo -hoo. i'll get an alpha midi here pretty soon this is one of the worst places we've ever driven i'm sorry dude i think the problem is, is there's just all these different there's you know cars and bikes and there's all these other there's these uncaught shuttles that keep stopping there's these motorbikes oh this is this guy stop it with the like why you, see this guy's trying to make a turn so he's and then all this it's just a shit show bro everyone's honking everyone's freaking feisty where the hell am i right now this is like jakarta bro i'm in damn mini jakarta dude i'm just gonna sit all the way up here guys so i could get a decent view of, of the craziness that's coming ahead so i know whether to stop or not this is this madness bro Madness. We're just gonna pull over any place we want. Look at that. This guy's in the lane. And we are turning off the main highway. Oh, uh, we are here at the accommodation. Look at that. Somewhere here in the back. Man, I am glad to get off that road. We are officially checked in. The bikes are down there. I'm up in here. This is kind of like a, this is a Kosan, which for our non Indos is basically like an apartment complex kind of. Um, but it's uh, where people are staying long term. It's really nice. It's got this beautiful courtyard here, and Shane said upstairs pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Boom. Boom. Oh, wow. Boom. This is nice. Super nice. No rooms up here. Look at these lounge chairs. Oh, sick. So nice. Some bar stools right here. Nice looking desk. Yeah. The view is killer. Rice fields, palm trees, mountains. Couches. Round table for your meetings. Super nice. If you're getting a room long term, this is a great place. This is an amazing place. Yeah. That's what I was wondering how much this cost a month. I'm curious. One mil I saw. 
A month? Damn. Not bad, man. Not a bad spot. Let's check out the room. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> it's killer. It's a big room. Plenty of space for the two of us. It's great. Got a, a sit-down toilet. We don't mind a squat toilet, but a sit-down with a bum gun? Yeah, I was like a bum gun. That's what we want. 2.30 a night. Not bad. Killer. AC2. You can't see it, but not bad. Follow my Pagi guys from here in Padang, Sidempuan. Actually spent a couple days in this area catching up on some work and uh, relaxing after two days on the road. But today we're getting back on it here. We're making our way towards Toba. But we are on our way to Ayaturdun Salima Lima. It's a beautiful waterfall here in the area. Total distance to Toba, it's gonna be a couple hundred kilometers and around five hours. But with the stop of the waterfall, we're gonna be on the road for quite a bit. Well, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this city. Let's get back to the nature and enjoy the day. We're heading off the main highway and it's starting to look beautiful. We're coming through this back area now and it's gonna, ooh, it's gonna open up into some beautiful rice fields and landscapes here. Yeah, it's just beautiful, but the roads are just foul. This back road is a little rough, guys. There's a bunch of, bunch of potholes and after post rain, they're filled with water. You gotta navigate in and out. We don't drop into one pretty heavy. Luckily, we got these Kawasaki KLXs because, man, going through this on a scooter would not be fun, dude. But with these bikes, it's almost as smooth as butter, folks. This little kampung is really nice. A beautiful mountain off in the distance. Some palm trees right there on the line. Now we're really out here, guys. And, and there's not much around here. There's a few villages, but you can really see out some far open areas of just straight nature. This is beautiful, guys. This is what we envisioned for North Sumatra. We're on the sick road, guys. Kind of on the edge of a cliff here to my left. Riding the mountain. I think we're a big, pretty close to the waterfall here and there should be parking. So I park here in some shade. Ask the Ibu Ibu what's going on. Get us on our way. We're to park here at Ayutarjun Salima Lima. It's actually pretty built up guys. There's that huge parking lot behind us and also this kind of warung here. More built up than I thought it would be all the way out here. I think they got the English wrong here. It's also spelled wrong, but this doesn't look like a jogging track because this is not this a good place to run. <laughs> this is all there. Oh my god. But it is built really nice. Like this rail is really nice mm -hmm. compared to a lot of waterfalls we've been to. It's nice to have this instead of a rugged trail. Yeah, the, inf the infrastructure is great. I've heard the infrastructure at tourist destinations in North Sumatra is really really well done it is a sunday right you'd expect today would be the busiest day but yeah. seems like nobody's here not bad i'm hoping we had a lot of good rain yesterday i'm hoping the water isn't super brown fingers crossed on that one but it sounds like it's powerful it sounds like a lot of water wow Go on. wow that's a good one so i think we're gonna have to go down and then maybe back up sure wow this is beautiful and we got so lucky with the weather today. The sun's out, it's blazing. It's a little bit hot, but it's hitting it perfectly. It's so bright. We're not gonna continue down these stairs, folks, to get all out of the waterfall, but before we do that. We wanna take a moment to tell you guys about Enervon Active. Enervon Active is a multivitamin that increases energy and enhances the immune system. And its three key ingredients is a non-acidic vitamin C, zinc, and a vitamin B complex. And guys, we've been looking for a vitamin to keep us active and fit on the road like Enervon Active, because we're doing long motorbike road trip across Sumatra. We're also doing long treks like this, the beautiful waterfalls, and Enervon Active has been so far so good for us to keep us energized and to keep us moving. It is recommended to take one tablet of Enervon Active each day to stay healthy and energized. And we'll be making sure to take Enervon Active each day on our long motorbike trip through Sumatra. So join us on our mission to be healthier as we pursue living an active lifestyle. You can purchase Enervon Active on Shopee, Tokopedia, or at your nearest pharmacy. Now, let's go get in that waterfall, baby. Let's go! Kawan. Kawan? Yeah, lagi sebelah. Oh yeah, sekarang dia manjat. Yeah. Di atas. Tu lagi tu nampak. Oh dia. Ah, itu lagi manjat. Oh wow, look at all those hives. Look at, he's covered in them. He's covered in them. Can you see that? Oh, there's so many bees there. It's hard to see. Foto dulu, foto dulu, foto dulu. Yeah, we're here. Mana pak? Mana? 
Sini, sini, sini. Sini, sini, sini. Satu lagi di sini. Satu, dua, tiga. Ekspresi gila, Pak. Ah. <laughs> Indonesian, <laughs> when you look at Indonesia's cameras, their filters always make you look even wider, dude. <laughs> I wonder if we could swim, guys, but it looks like these stairs lead a bit down here, and further down to some smaller pools. Try to take a little dip in the water. I don't think we're gonna get close to where the waterfall is, that's okay. It's a nice little natural pool, and the view is incredible. Yeah. Damn. yeah, baby. That is so dangerous. <laughs> and over here is the less exciting, but chill jacuzzi. Kangaroos, baby. I just, I just got baptized. Now, fan, take a load off. It's been her drive. Huh? Load off. All right, guys, we're not going to drive to Toba today. We're just going to have a spa day, all right? Chilling here. And now the guy who was up in the tree getting the madu is trying to, trying to talk to, to us. We can't hear him. What so. is the with him? Yeah? Yeah. Saying one, two, three, three of us, we go over there. I'll see. Tapi sekarang lagi sibuk. After this, he's got all the time. We're with him. So it's gonna be a minute before we make it out of here, guys. But it turns out this bee guy was yelling at us. They're gonna shake the trees and I don't know, maybe break for the honey. And now all the wasps, the big bees, pissed off. are pissed, pissed off, off dude. <laughs> it's on my face, dude. <laughs> big bees, dude. Big ones. And he's like, they're gonna bite. Rob already got bit. Yeah. I like didn't get me, but it was going, dude. Beautiful. Oh, bro, big bees. Big bees, bro. Are they here? Yeah, that was a bit messed up, guys. They could have waited a few minutes to, you know, make, disturb the bees before we left so we could get out of here. But um, our stuff now is still over there. We just made a run for it to get out of there, and we're going to have to make a run to get our stuff. Oh, go, go, go. Get her. Yeah. Gila, pa! Oh, 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 oh. What the hell? There's so much. That's fucking safety. We're just here trying to have a nice time at the waterfall, take a little swim, and now we're fighting bees, bro. We are back on it, folks. Taking off from Ayatarjun Salima Lima. Tadapa, horas! Gotta throw out a nice horas for the boys there. But now we are on a straight shot. Two Toba guys. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> and it feels good for that to be our next destination. GPS is saying just under four hours to get to the southern part of Lake Toba. And we're cutting across the map here, across the road that looks a little bit suspect. But we asked some folks if it's okay to drive and they said it's okay. So let's see as we get back to the main highway. So far, so good. If it stays like this, we're in luck. If not, uh, it's going to be a very interesting day to say the least. Yeah, of course this road's a little rough. It's alright, it's not too bad so far, but Gotta be careful with the rocks, guys. Especially with a lot of weight on the bikes. We are already in it, guys. Oh, man. So steep. Got this guy in front of me, too. Gotta be careful on these roads, man. We're back on some smooth stuff. There's another rocky patch here. Some of the road is so good, and some of the road is really rough. And on a super steep road with all these weights on our bike, it's already kind of a hassle. But then when you add in like all of this big, big loose gravel, it just makes it so dangerous. It was steeper earlier, but at least it's not that steep over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad. There's still some, just some rough patches here. All right, and our mounted camera setup that usually is here. The threading on the inside of the selfie stick just failed on us, so I caught that. Good catch on my part, but uh, unfortunate. And this road has turned out to be pretty wild, guys. Out here in the country, it's got some steep curves all the way out here in the mountains, the high grass now. I'm like, I can't even see Shane, there's so much high grass. You guys are getting antsy and you miss seeing my beautiful face. There it is. That's for you. That's for all you people that miss this beautiful, beautiful job. What a find, guys. This road really turned out well for us. There were some rough sections earlier, but 
Now we're really out here, dude. This is fantastic. This is what you imagine when you say we're going on a Sumatra motorbike trip. This is so awesome. Coming down the mountain now. Man, I can't believe this road is here. I can't believe <laughs> this. This is so wild to me. Whoa, look at the monkey. Holy shit. This is so wild to me. We're still on this wild road and Shane just saw something. What is it? It's a gibbon. Yeah? Guys, look at this. Look at him just hanging out up there. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Look at that gibbon climbing. Oh my god. Oh, there's two. Holy shit. Look at him. Look at him going up the trees. Look at this. Dude, this guy's climbing here. There's one here. There's another one back there. Look at this. This is so crazy. Dude, we are in it. We've never seen a gibbon before, guys. We've heard him. Oh, he's right here. There he goes. See him up in there? Oh, so cool, guys. And the baby one's there. Oh, it's a, there you go. He's, hang, he's, up, he's hanging upside down. He's doing something weird. He's going to drop. Look at him. He's just dangling himself. I hold it. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Put on a show. He's an acrobat, man. Put on a show, baby. There's another one somewhere in here. I think he's hiding. Whoa. This is ridiculous. I, we drove past him. He was so low in that tree right there. Yeah. I didn't see. That was crazy. When I drove up this way, he just, he climbed this branch. Dude, they are, this is wild. Dude, if we had our camera out right now, like our good Sony point yeah. shoot, like people go on crazy treks to, to see these monkeys, right? <laughs> so like they, they can get like these little photos from so far away. Dude, they were, they're, they're putting on a show for us. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This I mean, in Karinchi, we heard a ton. We never laid eyes on them. This is crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. It has been an absolutely mental day, bro. <laughs> Attacked by bees. We've had some leech attacks as well. You guys didn't see that on camera. Now we ran in the Gibbons. We're in this crazy road, bro. My yeah. goodness. Oh, pa! Horas! Horas! This is so cool. Yeah. They're so cool. Like, just ridiculous, guys. We're literally on a tiny little trail on a road in the middle of the jungle like this is as deep this is so deep in the jungle there's signs that there's apparently tigers and all kinds of other yeah. animals and monkeys here this is ridiculous guys this <laughs> we were unsure about this road as well i think people see us they're like what the hell hello bong oh. you are so confused dude horas horas i love it bro you just send it out you get it right back <laughs> If you want, I think we got a few more hours to Toba, dude. We are coming out of that road, guys, that we had no idea what to expect from. And back to the highway where we will make a sharp left and get on the move towards Toba. Woo We're back on, ladies and gentlemen. I might seem a little bit taller than usual, but that's because we put the camera directly on our mount instead of using the handle as well to give it that extra height. But, uh, we're back on. GPS is saying about an hour and a half left. It's going to put us around the lake at 6.30. Trying to get there around sunset, baby. Close it out. Look at this stunning view we're coming into. We're on the move, folks. Let's get it. I think we're coming down this last little stretch of mountain, guys. And this should be our entryway to Lake Bova. We got a nice, smooth road, guys. Leaving this in here. I'm, getting, I'm starting to get a few glimpses of the lake. Nothing completely clear yet, but I think this is the road that's going to take us in. She's somewhere over there. Feels so surreal. Salamatetang, di Kabupaten Toba. This is surreal, guys. We have been in Sumatra six months now. Six months. We're coming off the highway onto a little back road here that should lead us to the water. And guys, these mountains around here with the rice terraces are absolutely stunning. Look how green it is. And how cool is this road? Don't go off because you're just going to free fall straight down. But this is so cool right on the side of the crater. And now it's really going to open up. We're getting different peaks from different angles. Damn, guys. Toba is huge, dude. Oh, my God. 
This is sick. Lower and lower, baby. I think we're gonna go all the way to the bottom to lake level. Not sea level, lake level. We're making the final entrance here. All the way to the bottom. It's been a long ass drive. But there is Lake Toma, folks. Dear God. This is incredible. This is just incredible. Look at it. Over 500 freaking kilometers. Oh my God. <laughs> Good so job, bro. For real. for real, that was a haul, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's crazy. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay yeah. tuned because we have a lot of stuff coming from here in Toba. Here I have a feeling. Toba. We're gonna be here for a while. I think it's gonna be a good time. Here's some people partying over there. We might join Let's them. Let's do it. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to stay tuned for the other videos. Oh!